Hey everybody, this is Star. It's been quite a minute, but today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super cute craft that you just seen. This is one that will be available in my shop pretty soon. As you can see, I use UV resin when making this craft. I also use a straw. It's a very simple idea. And I'm painting on the UV resin onto the straw right now. And then once that's done, I go ahead and I cure it. I forgot how long I cure it for, maybe like a few, few seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and then I do my second coat. And then once that's done, I cure it for about three-ish minutes, somewhere around that time. And I take it out. I couldn't find my scissors at this point, um, so I cut it. And then I take my detail needles or tweezers and I get them out, get the straw out, twist it and pull it out. Um, please use smaller scissors than I've used because I couldn't find the appropriate scissors at this point. And there's the little tube for the wand. Right here I'm trying to figure out what bead I want to use on the end to close it off with. And then I put a wire through it and I cured it. That way I can attach a little another bead or dangly piece to the end. I've since come up with a different method in order to do this. It looks like I flash cured it in order to get it to a little bit sticky but not fully cured. And then I attach the bead with my hands. Like I said, I came up with a different way to do this later, but this technique worked for the time and it may work again soon. <laughs> I seem to be struggling. <laughs> but it's now attached. I'm making sure to secure it with some more UV resin. And then I'm filling it up with some tiny beads that I have. White, gold, clear. That's all I have for right now. I need to find more beads that are small enough to fit inside of these tubes because I would love to do other colors, but this suffices for now. So I'm closing off the top part of the tube. And it's okay for me to do that with these moon pieces, but I believe that I chose a heart. So it was a little bit more difficult in order to get the heart to stay on properly. You have to put down the UV resin and then cure it. Uh, the heart is a little bit crooked, but it's okay. You can't really tell once the entire piece is completed. Just make sure to put another layer around the heart as well as the tube in order to connect them together better. And then right here I'm coating the tube in order to increase its strength. And I'm going to cure that under the UV light. As well as cure it under my UV nail lamp. Right now I am making a peach resin piece. It's going to be a shaker piece. I'm sanding down the back of it because it was a little bumpy I couldn't get to the uh, bubbles that were forming so I couldn't pop them properly and I'm wiping down the inside of the piece so that resin won't be inside of the shaker part in case you haven't noticed I have letters on my uh, workspace because I am a messy crafter however those letters the orange ones are important for this craft that I'm about to do right here right now I am just opening the hole and trying to put it in an inconspicuous area that will be underneath the leaf so it won't be seen. Trying to file down the back a bit more but I do end up fixing that in the end. Alright, let's see. I'm getting my shaker film and or sh yes shaker film and <laughs> I am outlining it and I decided to move it because it would have been better for space if I would have moved it 
I got a bit too on it that way instead. So I cut it out. And then here I am filling the back in with uh, that UV resin in order to get rid of that ridge, I believe. Yes, and I'm then I'm curing it in order to help flatten out the piece a bit more. I am putting UV resin on the leaf in order to give it a more glossy feel because the, um, the mold that I use is a matte mold. Alrighty, so here I am outlining it again in order to put the shaker film on. I'm cutting out the shaker film and then I'm wiping it off in order to remove any type of residue make sure to pull off the um, the film that comes on the acetate sheets sheets if you're using the acetate sheets sheets and then I'm curing that flipping it over <coughs> flipping it over and then I'm putting the letters inside of it you probably can't see from here. I'm not sure because I can't see it, but it says peachy because it is a peach. I was going to put just put peachy, but couldn't fit all of the words in there. That's fine. Going to flash cure that. And then I'm going to put another layer of UV resin down in order to make sure that everything is absolutely secure. This also helps me with making sure that there, there no baby oil will get behind the piece because the fact that the piece is raised a little bit on the back. So I use UV resin in order to correct that or help that out. Then I'm putting in some hearts right here that are around the same color of the peach. What I should have did was make the hearts and not make them, but put like a little green piece on the end of the heart in order for them to look more like peaches because upside down, the hearts do look like peaches, but they don't look fully like peaches. And then I put another coat of UV resin on top. All right, so let's see. I think I'm just showing you guys the color changes, but it's not really that big of a color change there. These two change purple because I used some purple color changing pigments in them. And I don't have much sunlight reaching inside of my room, but. All right, let's see. It looks like we're continuing on. Yes, I'm putting um, filler beads inside of the peach right here. some glitter in there too I love glitter a little bit of oil in order for the glitter to not stick whenever you put more oil inside but I do still think that it's stuck I can't I don't really think that worked out the way that I wanted it to but it's fine it's not that big of a deal I'm taking the UV resin that I put on this silicone mat and I'm outlining the outside of the piece I'm taking my other shaker film and I'm putting it on top and then I'm gonna press it down a little bit and cure it. Let's see, I took my tweezers and I pressed it down to make sure that there is a secure bond around the entire piece. I like to dome before I put in my oil. Some people like to put in their oil and then dome. I prefer to dome and then put in oil because it just makes sure that my film is all the way down and 100% secure because I don't trust myself like that unfortunately. So I'm putting it down, pushing it to the edges and then I'm going to flash cure it and then I'm going to put it inside of my nail UV lamp as well. Here I am showing you the process of me adding my little dangly piece here I believe. I got this a new tool that's actually called a one-step looper, so things like this will be a lot easier for me to do. I can do a review on that and show you guys how to use that if you would like it. It's very simple. I can't really see what I'm doing here because I'm off camera. <laughs> Oh, I see. I'm putting on um, the bead on the bottom half. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Putting, adding the little dangly piece. And then I pulled out my little peach. That ring right there, I love that little ring that I have on my thumb. That is a very helpful ring for, um, what's it called? For bending the jump rings because you know how it hurts your hands if you use it. And it's relatively cheap compared to getting another uh, tool to do it. 
so I'm filling in my peach right here with more baby oil I put a little bit of baby oil that has like some eyeshadow in it and then I put in more baby oil with nothing in it and I am wiping it off and putting a plop of UV resin right there and curing that oh, I'm messing around with how good it looks <laughs> putting on making sure that it's cure a little bit more I'm trying to figure out where exactly I want the leaf to be and then I'm putting that on and curing it as well and that seems to be it everybody so yeah that's it for that um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you'd like.